All right, everyone. So welcome back to ProSocket Repair with Ian. I just want to show you guys really quick. I'm going to respoke the new rim I just got. Um, all we need to do is replace this piece. I also did get myself some new uh, spokes, just in case any were bent. I did find two that were bent. Um, but basically we have two different sizes. We have these ones with the long necks and we have these ones with the short necks. The long necks go on the rears can see the short ones go on the, the tops that are going to go all opposite way. Um, <clears throat> I know specifically the pattern that this has to go. Um, so when we have one going the opposite way, I'll be able to show you guys later, but you'll have uh, four of these spokes in between the spokes where it crosses because you need to know that V of where they cross. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you kind of how to spoke a rim. So first thing you want to do is you want to feed these all the back ones. Um, we're going to feed those first and then we're going to put them on the rim and we're just going to um, just basically put a couple threads of the nuts on the ends and then I'll show you guys what to do next. All right, so now we have the rears all placed in there. We only got them screwed in a couple threads. Um, and this is kind of what the pattern is going to look like. So I just fed the first one through on the, the front ones. So you're going to cross there. So see how we have this spoke going right here. That's this one right there. So we have one spot, two spot, three spot, four spot. And here's that fifth one that's crossing over. So we have four spots in between those two spokes and that one's going to tie in right to that hole right there because you're going to want that crossover towards the bottom that's what the original wheel looked like from the pictures i've taken um, you might think it goes there but that's not enough of a cross it's going to go right there so i'm going to feed those all through do a couple threads just you know right on there and i'll show you guys that all right, so I have all the top ones and all the bottom ones um, just lightly threaded on. You're gonna notice that <clears throat> that pattern. So here's this one, here's this one. These two crossed right there. If you count in between those, those are four for each one. Um, when you're putting the top ones on, it's like this one right here. You're gonna thread it down in between, under this one in front of this, this spoke right here and you'll take it up and you'll pull it all the way back to there. Um, when you start putting these through, you're gonna wanna leave at least two of them not threaded on. You can start threading these ones, but just the two, because when you put this one on, you have to take these two, just pull them out of their holes, push them over here, and then you're gonna put that one through. It's gonna come all the way back over there. And then you can thread those all on. So I got them all threaded now. Um, I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So now I want to show you guys on the back side. The back side, I fed everything in at the same time. And now what I'm doing is I'm slowly feeding in all the bottom ones and just laying the top ones on top. Um, the reason why you want to put both of them in at a time, because if you screw in the bottom ones just slightly, then you're going to have to take them all out to put the top ones in. It's just going to be too difficult to get them all in. So you put them both in at the same time and slowly work them all in. Um, that's why you just keep everything all loose, only a couple threads, that way you can still move around the wheel to get it all in. So I'll show you guys it um, all put together in a second. All right, now we're gonna double check. You're just gonna look underneath and you're gonna make sure that you got a long one, long one, long one, short, 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 short on top. You got all the right pattern. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start taking each nut and we're just going to slowly kind of start tightening um don't tighten them with a uh wrench eventually they're going to be actually like up here these ends pieces are going to be like up there um but we can take them to about there to the end of the thread and then just leave them there and i'll show you what to do next all right, so I just did everything by hand. Um, and at this point, everything's pretty tight. Just 
they're all about pretty similar. Um, but I want to show you guys what an old timer told me. So I've never trued a rim. I don't have tools to true a rim, but basically if you put it on a stand and you spin it and you have a piece of wood at the bottom, if it touches on this side, then you're going to come to this side on the top and tighten it a little bit. And that's going to suck it in. If you're having the wood blocks on this way and you're checking for wobbles going side to side, then what you do is if it's hitting at the top, then you go down to the bottom and then you go on the opposite side. So that's how that works. I just want to show you guys that. I'm actually going to have a shop do this because I don't have the micrometers or the stand to do this. Um, and it's just easier for me. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I just want to show you guys the true how to true rim or how to sp spoke a rim, sorry.